Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new tactics video. And today we are going to be going over Jorge Jesus 442 tactics. It's a very good system, one which I've had a lot of fun testing with. And trust me, the results are absolutely phenomenal. If you guys do enjoy these tactic videos, please do smash the like button below and please subscribe to the channel. But let's get into this tactic and break it down. So we're going to talk a little bit about how this tactic does sort of play out and it is a tactic that is described as a very heavy metal attack and system but we've got a few pictures here from in-game scenarios that we're going to go over have a look over and have a little talk about so the first one we're going to get into right now i really do enjoy doing these segments of the videos because it does make me obviously have a lot more of an insight to the actual tactic we're making and when it's a manager that i don't know too much about i obviously have to do quite a bit of research to replicate it and i think i've done this pretty much bang on so in terms of playing out from the back and also sort of in the midfield, he does stick to having lines of four. Now, what happens is, as we're going to get a very good image of on this here now, um, you are going to see, obviously, the centre-backs do sort of push out quite wide, the full-backs do push up, and then it just basically creates lots of space. And what you're seeing is what you're going to see a lot in this system is the pentagons coming in. And this is fantastic because... It's very hard to defend every single option. As you can see here, we've highlighted every single possible player with a circle and also lined them up. So it's absolutely ridiculous, the options they have on the ball. And that's why they do such a good job at playing out and also maintaining the ball quite well. Now, if you look here, sort of this going to be this player with the ball here. He has literally got so many options, but then that player that he passes to has also got an option right off the bat. So creating these pentagon shapes to play out from the back is very, very good and pretty much impossible to defend so we get a very very good insight of this this is going to be when he was actually managing flamingo um now we're going to see a very sort of it's very similar obviously this isn't a pentagon but again you are sort of seeing these shapes coming in obviously this is going to be a fullback that's pushed up slightly here again it's got an option here it's got an option in the middle and what i like to do is i like to picture things so it's sort of like you got a pass here he could play it into the number eight here he's instantly got a pass on here who can start creating stuff and the beauty the beautiful thing about this system is the fact that this can occur on either side of the pitch as well so creating these shapes it's a very weird thing when you say shapes are important in football but they really are because if you were able to create even a triangle which obviously three options it's very difficult to defend against so when you're able to create four as we thought or not five as what we saw in the last one it's even better very hard to defend against and very very good this is an image coming actually from the arsenal game where they did dominate possession very heavily and you're going to see why just in one image it's the beautiful thing about doing this part of the video you can see here they've isolated two arsenal players where they have literally got no chance of getting this ball back as you can see here, this player on the ball, he has got one pass, which is an easy pass, two easy passes. And as soon as he offloads it to that player, obviously there's another two players involved in this sort of pentagon type of shape. And this is just a very good way of maintaining possession and doing sort of a slow build up play. Now, this is an aggressive style of like tactics. So it's like, this isn't always going to be short passing pentagon, you know, beautiful passing, but it just shows when they are maintaining possession, probably trying to calm a game down or get into a game, obviously against Arsenal, probably a superior opposition. So just trying to sort of work the way into the game. Creating these shapes is very, very helpful. So we're going to go over more of the attack and play. Now, he is rewarded for his directness sometimes of sort of not messing about. It is very heavy metal, aggressive football, sort of like the way I described Klopp, all out or nothing, right? And we're going to see two segments here, pretty much Oh, it is from the same game. We're going to see exactly what happens. So you're obviously going to have a defender here play a very, very aggressive sort of pass through the midfield directly into this player here. Then he picks up the ball, obviously, with a great first touch. And what you're seeing again is these beautiful sort of shapes occurring on the right side of the pitch. Again, can be replicated on the left-hand side. And these players do stay wide a lot of the time purely for this reason, because obviously he's got two options to play for. He can go with an aggressive ball, which he looks like he is going to play actually right down the line here. But then that player's already got an option in the number two here. So these sort of areas on the pitch staying wide is very, very good. And obviously in a 4-4-2, a width isn't a bad thing to have at all. So the fact that as soon as he's received the ball, you're seeing two players instantly pretty much as wide as you can get to create options is very good. Another very common thing in his system is that there will be a sort of centre forward player or um, forward player push in, sort of come back to get the ball from midfield areas. If they can't obviously make a run in behind, they collect it so they're able to go forward with the ball. So you can see here, obviously, quite an easy pass, which actually going to be Tavares with the ball here um, when he was at that club. Putting the ball in here, to this player who then instantly turns and again right through simple pass so just coming in to collect the ball sometimes 
obviously distracts a few players in this in the opposition as we can see here and you've already got a run in behind which can be played clearly on side obviously this play here putting him on side so a couple of passes and you're pretty much in behind the goal so we're going to talk a little bit about how they actually win the ball back now and they are a very aggressive press inside and one thing that you will see them do very often is when the team, for example, who they're playing probably shifts it, for example, on this side that we're going to see here, they sort of all shift together purely to get a press on and make the player nervous. Obviously, you can see all of them slowly going in that direction, just as vice versa. If the ball was to come over to this side of the pitch, you would see them all drift over to apply pressure on that side as well. And from this image here, you're seeing how aggressive they are in that midfield to try and win the ball back very, very quickly. As we're seeing here, you're going to have one player on the ball and you've got four players that are on him to try and win that ball back. Obviously, in this scenario, there is probably a pass on here that he could do. But as soon as this player has picked up the ball, he's got two players very close to him. You've got a player here who's very close to this one. And this player here will probably block out any passes into this area here. And actually, looking at it again, this player, if he gets quick to him very quickly, he can probably prevent the pass to this player here as well, actually. So the aggressiveness, the, the nature of this team is very aggressive, but it is also very rewarding. So the first team we tested with is going to be with Flamengo, obviously a team which are favourites to win. And we are going to see Barbosa. This is across every single tournament. And you can see the amount of tournaments he was in. 99 goals from the man there. Everton Ribeiro coming in with 55 assists. You're going to have 28 goals conceded and 172 goals scored as well. Um, loads and loads. Too many to mention in terms of what we've won. We literally won everything we possibly could. The schedule is going to look brutal. There are quite a few teams in here who aren't the best. No disrespect, but teams that you can really paste, as you've seen here. Um, Barbosa is a fantastic striker, but I mean, he's not, you know, he is good. But obviously, four-star ability probably does tear it up in this division. But what a season this guy had. I mean, you're looking at, I mean, to be fair, 99 goals is very good, but he did have a lot, a lot, a lot of games he could play and tournaments. Um, and to be fair to him, obviously... Playing against weaker competition, I mean, realistically, the only team that we possibly could have struggled against was Palmeiras, but we didn't. We absolutely thumped this division and very, very good. In terms of the data hub, then, team attacking, 4.53 goals a game. Now, obviously, it's a mixture of a fantastic tactic. It's a mixture of having a good striker and probably some weaker teams. Again, the pass completion sitting at around 86%. As I mentioned before in the analysis that you do see that beautiful Pentagon passing, but it is also quite direct. So you are going to have the occasional misplaced pass when you obviously do try and go direct. It doesn't work out, but still very impressive. Team defender now, 0.74. So under a goal a game, which is pretty much bang on what you want to be doing, especially with this system, because... It is a very attacking style, so it's in no way made to not... Con Obviously, you don't want to concede, but it's not a defensive tactic at all. It's heavy metal, aggressive, get in your face. So to be conceding under a goal a game is still something that I'm very proud of. And obviously, the attacker win ratio, again, could be better, but it is aggressive. There are going to be fouls. So if you're a manager that gets annoyed at seeing your players get booked, you're fed up of it, feel free to tweak some of the stuff, which I will talk about later on in this tactic breakdown. Now... The next team is going to be Benfica. Obviously, a very, very good side. Um, again, a few teams in the division that could win the tournament. Don't get me wrong. But we actually come out and we absolutely battered it. Um, 131 goals scored, ranking us the best. 22 goals conceded. Obviously, very good stats there as well. Ramos coming in with 53 goals. Again, a striker who is reasonably good. Um, not exactly world, world class, but to be fair, got the Wonder Kid status. Reason, quite good attributes, actually, to be fair to the lad. Um, Neres coming in with the most assists as well, so very, very good from him there. And this is where we also actually managed to win the Allianz Cup. But this is where we actually went invincible. Invincible in this division, 34 games played, 31-1, three drawn. So that is not one loss on the board, making us completely invincible. So that is always a good thing to see. Going into the data hub then, team attacking, 3.85 goals a game. Still very, very high, to be honest. I should be seeing this in pretty much everyone that we do, purely because 
it is a very attack and a very attack and style on um, the mentality set to attack and, and obviously you've got quite aggressive players on the pitch and the game style itself is very aggressive again very similar pass completion going over to the, um, the defensive side sorry 0.65 so still very good a very very much under a goal a game not as if we're approaching that 0.9 mark or anywhere near that tackle win ratio at 75 percent quite a few fouls made per game but then that is what you get for playing with such a high press and sort of get stuck in mentality but overall very happy with this one very happy with how all of them have gone so far but the next thing we're going to do is go over to the last team and his current team Fenerbahce now this one is even better well not even better it's very similar to the last test we actually managed to go invincible again so that is two tests two seasons we've gone invincible so that's why it's in the title none of this clickbait stuff it is a promise and we've delivered 36 wins two draws out of 38 games played very very good stuff there also winning the upper side trophy hope that's how you say that 163 goals scored 24 conceded um as you can see here i haven't gone over this you do pick up quite a few bookings so that is purely up to you if you do feel like you want to tweak it um bashway 36 goals very impressive from him and we've got um kaviki coming in there with 23 assists in terms of the data hub um team attacking 4.29 goals a game which is absolutely sublime very very good to see 86 percent on the pass completion again very very good stats there team defending very very solid again we're seeing very similar stats to be honest 0.63 conceded um tackle win ratio roughly the same and quite a few fouls made per game in this division 18.29 but it is part of the style feel free to tweak it and i am going to go over exactly how you guys can do that in the next segment of the video which is going to be the actual tactic and player role breakdown before we do break down this tactic though guys if you are enjoying this video so far please do leave a like button below and comment what manager you want to see recreated next and if you do enjoy my content enough please do subscribe to the channel it helps out the channel a lot and it does mean a lot to me when i see you guys subscribe but let's break down the tactic and let's talk about it so this is going to be the tactic on paper now we're going to start off with obviously this side of things we always do so the attacking you want to set to attacking um in possession the mentality you want to set to attacking did i just say be attacking to attacking the mentality to attacking fairly narrow with the width pass into space play out of defense standard extremely high tempo run at defense be more expressive and mixed crosses in transition counter press counter distribute quickly, distribute to the centre-backs and take short goal kicks. Out of possession, use offside trap, much higher line of engagement, standard defensive line, force, force, force opposition inside, get stuck in, prevent short goalkeeper distribution and much more often on the press. Going into the player roles, you want to start off with a sweeper keeper on the defensive duty, take fewer risks and shorter passes selected. Going over to the right back, it's going to be a wing back on the attack duty, you want balanced, tackle harder, get further forward, stay wider, run wide with the ball, and shorter passing. The reason why it's on stay wider, as well as this player here, is because that's when you're going to see them lovely sort of wide areas which you can dominate in them sort of triangle patterns. Obviously, it would be these players linking up this three here. Going over to the left back then, you want to see balance, get further forward, stay wider, run wide with the ball, and shorter passing. Two centre-backs in this system, obviously. Ball play and defender, you want to be seeing balanced, tackle harder and shorter passing next to him is going to be a central defender nice and simple just balanced tackle harder and shorter passing again you're seeing these quite a few tackle harder because it is an aggressive way of playing if you guys do want to tweak this feel free to simply just take it off and that'll probably help a lot with the bookings going over to we're going to do the two in midfield you need a deep line playmaker on the support duty <clears throat> do apologize about that less often on the press tackle harder and standard with the pass and directness center mid is going to be on the automatic duty balanced move into channels run from position standard and dribble more selected on the left hand side then it is going to be an inverted winger on the attack duty is going to be less often tackle harder stay wider get further forward cut inside standard and take more risks on the right hand side Gonna have exactly the same less often but i've got one which is taken off the tackle harder purely because if you have everyone on tackle harder it can become an issue so that is something which the only thing you guys can sort of tweak for yourselves get further forward stay wider cut inside with the ball standard and take more risks 
going over to the two sort of, well, the two goal scorers, obviously, we're going to have one deep line forward. Obviously, this is purely because, as we saw in that sort of analysis at the start, one of these players does have to come in and collect the ball occasionally. And that is going to be this guy here. Less often, tackle harder, run from position, hold up ball, and stand up with the parson. And then we're going to have one selfish striker, an advance forward on the attack, less often, tackle harder, standard, take more risks, shoot more often, and dribble more. But guys, that is going to be everything for me today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tactic breakdown. As always, if you guys do want to download this tactic, test it out for yourself, it is going to be in the description. You can simply click it and apply it. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please do smash the like button, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.